Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegudero and today we shall continue on Unit 5 Food and Health. For your information, this is going to be the last lesson which will be on page 59 on your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to write a blog about food using sequencing words. As usual, before we proceed to our lesson today, let me communicate with you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall read Sally's blog and answer simple WH questions. And after that, we shall complete the gap key phrases together based on Sally's blog and other pictures and sentences after that. Finally, we shall write a food blog based on the template in Sally's blog with guidance. Without further ado, let us move on to the first activity of our lesson today, which is to read Sally's blog. But before we read Sally's blog, let's get to know these few words first so that you will have a better picture when you read Sally's blog later on. Take a look at the first picture. What is this? It's raisins. Raisins. Next, tuna. Tuna. Red pepper. Red pepper. Olives. Olives. Ingredients. Ingredients. Chop. Chop. Stutter. Stutter. Now, what does stutter mean? Stutters is basically a light food that you are going to take before you take the heavy food in the rest of your meal time. Main course. Main course. What does main course mean? Main course means the heaviest food that you are going to take for the rest of your meal time. Now, let's read Sally's blog together. As you can see here, Sally's blogs look good as she put up some photos of food. Let us try to read Sally's blog and see how interesting her menu is. Hi, here are my new ideas for a tasty menu. First, I've got some snacks. I love nuts and raisins. After that, I've got these fun egg salads for the starter, an idea from the internet. Next is the main course. Today it's mini pizzas with tuna, red paper, and olives. I love making this. They look like faces and they taste great. Finally, my favorite, dessert. There's hot fruit with ice cream. I like this because there aren't many ingredients and it's easy to make. Just chop some fruit, cook for 10 minutes with some sugar, and serve with ice cream. Mmm, delicious. Enjoy your meal and join me next month for another easy menu. Questions? Where is the idea for a fun egg salad from based on the blog that you have read from Sally's? The idea is from the internet. Number two, what is Sally's favorite part of the meal? As mentioned earlier in the blog, Sally's favorite part of the meal was the dessert. It was hot fruit with ice cream. Now let's move on to the second activity of our lesson today, which is to complete and get to know the key phrases. These are the key phrases that we detect from Sally's blog just now. And now you are going to find it out and complete the gaps here. Let's go through the key phrases one by one first. Number one, they taste terrible or okay or number two, it's fun or cheap or difficult to make. Number three, mmm. Number four, enjoy your and number five, join me. So let's try to see which sentences here has the same key phrases in the block. Number one, they test terrible or okay or which one is the answer? It's from here. They taste great. Number two, it's 
fun, cheap, difficult to make. So we can find the answers from this part. It's easy or fun or cheap or difficult to make. So class, just remember that it's not necessary for you to use easy when you are going to write a food blog or your own later, yeah? Because the key phrases here actually highlights that there are a few choices of adjectives that you can use when you want to write the key phrases in your food blog. Just bear in mind that when you are writing a food blog, it is not necessary for you to write a good side of the food. Writing a food blog is basically like writing a review. So, it is not right or wrong for you to write a good or bad reviews about food. Number three, hmm, what's the answer? It's delicious. Number four, enjoy your you can find this answer from the last sentence of this blog, which is enjoy your meal. Number five, join me. The answer you can find it at the following sentence after the enjoy your meal. It's join me next month. So these are the key phrases that we are going to practice and write it in our food blog. Before we start writing our food blog, let us try to order first the pictures here in sequence. There are four pictures, A, B, C, D, and they are not properly arranged in a good sequence. You are going to look at the picture and you try to analyze and see which picture should go first, second, third, and fourth. So based on these four pictures here, which picture you think that it should go first? It's B. So picture B is number one, which indirectly means that sentence B should be sentence number one. So since it's the first step of making a hot fruit ice cream, the sequence connector that we should use is first, first chop some fruit. And which is the second picture? It's A, number two. So what is the suitable sequence connector that we can use here? You can use either after that or next, but in this case, I prefer after that. And picture number three goes to D. So we have already used after that. Then the following sequence connector we can use next. Next could for 10 minutes. And C is the last picture. Therefore, the sequence connector that we can use is finally served with ice cream. First, chop some fruit. After that, add some sugar. Next, cook for 10 minutes. Finally, serve with ice cream. Now, let's move on to the final activity of our lesson today, which is to write a food blog on your own. Now, this is a writing guide for you to think of your writing plan before you really start writing on your food blog. Now, let's try to think and plan first by looking at the questions here. Number one, what is the name of your blog? So since I'm going to show you a sample, definitely I'm going to use my own name for my own blog. So here, I would say Daryl's food blog. Number two, what is on your menu? Well, I'm going to do the same thing as what Sally's do. I'm going to have a snacks, a starter course, a main course, as well as a dessert. So here, I choose snacks. It will be fried peanuts and cornflakes. For my starter, it will be food salad. Main course will be fish and chips with bread. And last but not least, the dessert will be ice cream float. Where are the ideas from? Well, most of the time I'm teaching you on YouTube. So definitely I would say the ideas come from YouTube. What are the ingredients? Well, it would be a bottle of soda or any fizzy drink topped with vanilla ice cream for my ice cream float. And why do you like this food? Well, I like this food because there are only two ingredients needed and it's very easy to make. For this sentence, I adapted from Sally's blog. And number six, how often do you write your blog? For this one, I also followed Sally's blog and I say once a month. You can change it to once a week or maybe once every two weeks, it's up to you. But I try to minimize as many differences as possible so that you would have a better picture on which I'm going to change in terms of the writing ideas and which I'm not going to change for the rest of this uh, blog writing. Now, let's try to write a food blog 
we are going to use the points that we have already discussed in our thing and plan activity and now we are going to refer to Sally's blog as a template we follow her template but we are writing using our own ideas let's try to write hi here are my new ideas for testimony new this one I follow exactly the same but in here first I've got some snacks I don't follow Sally's snacks I choose fried peanuts and cornflakes so I say I love fried peanuts and cornflakes after that I've got this fun fruit salad for the starter an idea for the YouTube previously Sally had a fun egg salad and the idea was from internet so here the words in the red color is the words that I substituted the ideas next is the main course today is fish and chips with bread where supposedly for Sally she had mini pizzas with tuna red pepper and olives finally my favorite dessert there's ice cream float I like this because there are only two ingredients needed and it's easy to make just pour a bottle of soda or fizzy drink into the glass and serve with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top enjoy your meal and join me next month for another easy menu and you can see from my food blog here I actually deleted um, a few sentences just just to show that I don't really follow thoroughly of what Sally's wrote I substituted the idea and I deleted some unnecessary sentences try to identify and practice this at home using your own ideas yeah so that's the end of our lesson for today this is a google form exercise homework for you feel free to just scan the qr code right in front of the screen or you can click on the link that i have provided in the video description below if you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this google form exercise feel free to just scan at the qr code right in front of your screen or you can go to the video description below to click on the link and make a copy of this exercise straight away as usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give it a like if possible. Don't forget as well to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell so that you will always get notified whenever I update my playlist. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and I shall see you at the next video. Bye!